Today is the final day of the Artificial Intelligence Workshop hosted by the Ministry of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy. Arise News Business Correspondent Rotus Udiri joins us live now from Abuja. Good morning, Rotus. Good morning, Dr. Abati. Good morning to the rest of the crew. As you can see, we're live at the uh, NCC um, Annex Building, Communications Commission Annex Building in uh, Abuja. And this is where everything has been happening. Um, so to, if just to break down what's been going on, you can see these rooms um, behind me. Each of these rooms is where all the strategy has been taking place. So the room to the left you're looking at now is for uh, social impact and ethics, basically how artificial artificial intelligence is going to impact the social issues in the, con in, the, in the nation. So you've got people who sit in that room, come up with a vision statement, and basically that vision statement is going to be part of what forms the strategy. So you can see basically here it says infrastructure and ecosystem. And then you can see the, the, the table behind you where people will be sitting. Again, it's early. Everybody's going to be meeting up here at 9 o'clock. Uh, then you've got another group here, which is ethics and, uh, and social impact. And then I, my group also was workforce and talent uh, development. So this is essentially where everything uh, has been uh, taking place. Now, the big stage uh, behind me is where you saw the minister um, speaking uh, the other day. Uh, this is where everybody, after they've finished putting together their, um, uh, their strategy documents, everybody comes to the front here and then presents it to the rest of the groups. So the groups who ask, it's almost like a peer-reviewed paper. You know, it's when, you, when scientists are coming up with a, a, new, um, a, a new research, uh, essentially, you would come up here and then present it to everybody else. And then that will now form um, the strategy that is going to, the do strategy document that is going to be put together by the Ministry of Communications, Innovation, and, um, and uh, Digital Economy. The key thing here is that the ministry has leveraged on expertise. Microsoft is here, Meta is here, Luminate is here, the school is here. And sitting within all these groups, I got to see what it was like for the smartest people in the room, from academia to the private sector, to put minds together to discuss exactly how um, an artificial intelligence framework and strategy is going to work for um, the country. So it has been very, very um, engaging. Um, it's been very informative. And I, I got to feel like, hey, I was part of uh, a strategy development. And it also shows that, look, putting together strategy and putting together policies in government is hard because I was watching people say, okay, no, let's do this. No, let's do this. Okay, then we would vote on this and vote on that. And you've got to be conscious of the ideas and contributions of all the stakeholders that are in the room. Nigeria is such a big country, so many people and so many ideas coming together. So um, today is the final day. They will all come together. Everything will be harmonized. And then I guess within a week or so, or a couple of weeks, I'm not sure how much longer, but then the, the ministry will now take all the ideas from workplace talent uh, in infrastructure, ethics, everything, everything will now come together and then the strategy documents um, will be um, released. So it's been a really, really great experience. And then it wouldn't be an artificial intelligence workshop if I didn't share news from Boston Dynamics. This, I think they were watching. I think Boston Dynamics was watching Arise News and were like, okay, since they're having an artificial intelligence workshop, let's drop this big, this big news. Basically, they've released a new electric robot. I'm not sure if I was either terrified or excited. T take a look at this, take a look at this clip. So they, they dropped that just yesterday. I don't know what your feelings are. So that, that's pretty much all we have. I'm sure you're going to discuss the CBN. Just two quick things. They've reduced the loan to deposit ratio for banks from 65% to 50%. Basically, banks cannot loan more than 50% of, uh, out, of, out, of out of deposits to customers. Uh, that's part of the monetary policy tightening cycle of the central bank. And then, of course, Governor Cardoso in his live broadcast from the IMF spring meetings yesterday, clearing some things up with respect to the reserves, where we all thought the reserves were being used to 
defend the Naira, he says the reserves are being used to clear the FX backlogs, um, which of course has, has, is where we are now, where you've got almost pretty much a unification between the um, parallel market rates and the official rate. That is our update live from a very calm, no traffic, people don't shout very much Abuja, but I miss the energy of Lagos. Rosas, I'd like to ask you a question. I'm happy you showed that Boston Dynamics uh, robots. Can you help me check if the students from FGGC Chagamu that made a robot, an all-girls school, is there a robot on parade in this National Artificial Intelligence Strategy Summit going on? Because if that robot is not on parade there, then where are, how are we celebrating Nigerian no. ingenuity? No, there was a robot. There was a bot that was here. I'm not sure if it was from the Shagamu, uh, the Shagamu students. I remember that update. But the minister did, in fact, debut a robot that was actually monitoring what was going on here. So, of course, it wouldn't be an AI workshop if you didn't have a bot. So, we did. The, the ministry did debut a bot. It was here monitoring all the proceedings. But I'm not sure if it came from the Shagamu guys. And here's the thing, Rufai. The more you have, if it's the Shagamu girls, if it's you know girls in another university in Kano, if it is wherever it is, we need more people, right, scaling this type of technology where you've got multiple universities making up these bots. That is how you get development, and that's the essence of the. Okay, so you can see that power really? is one of the power issues just, we have to be discussing. This is power just went off. This, <laughs> this, this is this is why does this? Do you, do you remember? Do you wait? Do you remember my? Do you remember my? Do you remember my power? Do wait, wait, wait. Power Do you is, remember? Do you guys remember on? my electricity? Is, electricity subsidies. You remember journey? my electricity subsidies reports? How I was sitting. <laughs> That's Nigeria for you. That's that's just where we are. I, that is just. I, that, 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 that is. This is arise news. We get all the action. All the action. Monitoring the power <laughs> grid. So fully. Um, I hope that hey, that venue look, is not in. Is, it is what it is. It's not in band A. It's not in band A because that would then the the disco would need to explain something. <laughs> all right, very, very quickly. Um, first of all, I was going to ask. Do you know the um time timeline for the release of the strategy document? how long this will take, and then what will implementation look like. I don't know if you've said to have conversations around that, because beyond being a talk shop, we want to see action. So just very quickly, do you know the timeline for that strategy document coming to life and the, stra the strategy for implementation? Yeah, um, the time, do you remember my electricity subsidies report? I was on stage with the Minister come of uh, 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 Trade and Investment, already, the CBN government, right? the lights went out. Every time I come, uh, all right, yeah, so the timeline, the timeline, um, no, they haven't, they haven't given a timeline at this point. Um, that, of course, they want to take enough time to be able to put all these documents together. So we don't have a timeline yet. I'll find out from the ministry, but they don't want to rush the process, essentially. So that will be put together soon, soon enough. Well, uh, Rotus, <coughs> I was going to ask you about you know, one of the big issues with regard to AI, whether that's also on the table at that uh, conference, the future of artificial intelligence. Because the future, as represented by some of those robots that, are, that have been on display in various places, is that if these robots will take on complex cognitive tasks with greater efficiency than uh, human beings, even if they will help to drive efficiency and innovation in agriculture, in uh, customer service, in uh, you know, healthcare, and all of that. Was that part of the discussion about whether or not artificial intelligence, yes, is the future. The future is here, but the level of threat to human beings. And secondly, I, uh, you know, in responding to some of the stories from that uh, workshop, I've been talking about education. I, our education system in Nigeria, you know, in terms of the emphasis that we have along the spectrum, humanities, science, technology, we don't seem to be paying enough attention. Did anybody talk about the curriculum in our schools? Even if we have quite a number of people who are in tech, uh, but if you go and check many of those people in tech, many of them are products of uh, Western universities. Great questions, Doctor. Yes, indeed. Um, the um, ethics and social impact is actually where 
issues of threats and what, what could happen if AI was to run, up, you know, run amok, that's being discussed. So their strategy as part of what is being discussed here is to come up with, okay, how can regulation make sure that doesn't happen? And they're very mindful. The group that I sat in was workplace development and talent. And we talked about um, education there. The Lagos Business School, in fact, on day one, one of the representatives from the Lagos Business School um, was actually speaking to, the, to that effect. So education has been discussed, how to improve the talent pipeline. In fact, real quick, there's a company, um, in, fact, in fact, there are also entrepreneurs here. I can't remember the name of the company, but there's an entrepreneur who is building a virtual keyboard that using AI, when you type into it, it translates English into Nigerian languages. Of course, we have a lot of languages here, so they're, used, they're focused mainly on Yoruba, Igbo, and Hausa. So I was talking to him, he's part of the people that was here, part of the minds that is contributing to the strategy paper, and I asked him, how many of your software developers are Nigerian? And he said, well, we have some Nigerian software developers, but most of our developers, the core engine of the developing this AI for his company to convert the language into Nigerian language, English into Nigerian languages are from India. So we now started talking about how to improve the education pipeline and the talent pipeline. So, so that is very much being discussed uh, here, Doctor. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Rotus. We look forward to having you back in the studio.